Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian gamer, and this is some squad deathmatch from Bad Company 2. Now I've uh, edited out, edited out the uh, beginning of the clip here because I was running around for like two and a half minutes without seeing a freaking person, so I just uh, cut straight through the action. <laughs> In this video, I kind of want to go to go through some of my thoughts on uh, a subject that is, um, well, it's kind of touchy these days, and um, it, well, it basically is um, game addiction and addiction to playing games. Um, it's a subject that has come up in the last uh, five or so years, and really in a large part after the release of uh, World of Warcraft, which is the, probably one of the most adopted games ever, and has, and is also a game that... Look at this! Through the <laughs> in the middle of those doors. How about that? Um, well, um, uh, World of Warcraft has led to a lot of people having game addiction, having a game addiction, and I'm not saying that World of Warcraft is solely responsible for this, but it's one of the games that has gotten a lot of attention around it because it's such a hugely, hugely popular game. And the thing is that some people say that there is no such thing as game addiction, that addiction to playing games isn't a real thing. Now, I'm no, I'm no expert at of the field of um, medicine that actually covers addiction but what I know is that sometimes I've almost been addicted to games myself I I believe that for some people the journey into a virtual world that is a game might help them get some self-esteem, have some self-respect, because I know that sometimes when you're feeling down, you just feel like you're not worth anything, that your world is, um, is, your world is insignificant when you're such a small speck on this, uh, this world. That was very all this explained, but you know, you feel so insignificant and small, and your life might not go 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 your way, and you end up kind of feeling very sorry for yourself. <laughs> Perhaps not rightfully so, but still, you feel sorry for yourself. And I believe that diving into a virtual world, in uh, like a game, might kind it helps you forget your real situation and only care about this virtual situation where you actually might be someone say in World of Warcraft if you're a level uh, I don't know what the cap is now 85 with the most awesome gear and you're like you're the leader of the most awesome guild or clan or whatever it's called uh, obviously I'm no WoW player, you kind of get respect from other players, and some players may even see up to you and say, wow, I wish I could be like him, or wow, he's cool, I want to be like him when I, I want to get better like him, or something like that, and that makes your self-esteem kind of rise, and you feel better about yourself, you feel like you're worth something, you feel like you've actually accomplished something. And if you're if you're not feeling that in the real world, then I understand that you're you're kind of getting addicted to just playing because suddenly you you're worth something and you feel more alive in the virtual world yeah, than you do in the real one. Yeah. And as I said, sometimes I've almost yeah, felt yeah, I've been there. I'm not saying I'm, I have a horrible life, by all means I actually have a pretty great life considering uh, all the horrible stuff that's happening out there in the world and me living in Norway and everything. We have a kind of a spoiled life here, um, even compared to some other so-called um, industry countries. But 
My point is that um, sometimes I can still feel like I'm really down and feel very sorry for myself. Not always with a good reason, but still I feel very sorry for myself and that's just a fact, you know? And then just diving into this game, for example, Bad Company 2, and playing a couple of matches and just go and just be awesome, just feel like I've... I feel like I've eaten a whole box of awesome cookies and just raping these guys. I f can feel really good about myself and get a lot of self-esteem and that makes me want to play this game even more because suddenly I feel like I'm worth something. And it it's that's actually kind of addicting, you know? Because just feeling that is so gratifying, it's so good, it's like being high on life itself. I mean, it's unlike anything else. Oh, that's just unfortunate, isn't it? Um, and, wow, I, I don't know how to even express it. I mean, the game just lets you forget everything else and just live a, or live out a life that is not necessarily through your real life, but Still, it feels so good living that life that you kind of just want to forget everything else and just go with it. And of course that may present some problems with your real life. Um, when it's not giving incomes, you can't have anything anywhere to live, and you know, there's a, there's a whole slippery slope there um, regarding uh, not taking care of your real self and only um, uh, only using your resources for an, for a certain need that isn't necessarily healthy. Oh, I didn't see that guy in the win window. I saw him now, not when I played. <laughs> well, as I said, and some people don't even believe that game addiction is a real thing because it can be scientifically proven by the um, classical no, means no, 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 or no. by classical terminology but that doesn't stop it from being an addiction still I mean I promise you there are people that are having problems with controlling their gaming and controlling the amount they should be spending on gaming and I believe that these people should be helped and be taken seriously and their problems should be taken seriously because as I said I've almost been there and being there you you might not recognize it at first you know in Alcoholics Anonymous one of the first things that you have to go through is actually accepting that you're an alcoholic and that you are addicted to the alcohol and for me, I'm not saying I was properly addicted, but at certain points in my life, and I'm not even that old, I mean, I'm turning 21 this year, and even at certain points of my life, it's felt like that I I, I wouldn't care about anything else, I just want to use my time to play and game, because that makes all my problems go away. I may be late for something uh, like in um, I might be late for doing some work for school I might um, have some problems that should have been solved days ago months ago or just soon and if I just start playing I can just dive into this wonderful world where none of that matters at all because in this world I'm in kick a soldier that kills people and I do agree, and I participate to my team. I didn't see that guy at once. Just yeah, I comment that the ghillie actually works. The ghillie is the you know the feather, no, uh, the suit that they wear, the bush suit. <laughs> well, I can just dive into this world, and nothing of it matters at all. And I oh. It, it's such a wonderful feeling just letting all, your, all of your responsibilities go away and suddenly just 
just not feeling it. I don't know how to how to express it anymore. Uh, I don't know how to sp express it. It's just a f feeling, a um, a feeling of relief, of of um, calm. I guess is the best word to use. And as as Woody said in one uh, one of his videos, is that. Everyone can see a problem, but the real, uh, the real helpers find try to find a solution for the problem instead of just pointing it out. Because everyone can point out the problem, but not everyone can actually find a solution for it. So, to kind of find a solution to the problem of game, ad game addiction, I think that people that struggle with game gaming addiction or playing addiction need to learn how to deal with problems and personally I'm not that good at it I mean I have a typical habit of just pushing um, problems away just postponing them uh, saving them for a later date and then ending up never doing them and that's a typical thing that I always do and I can tell you right now, for s if some of you are younger than me, that's not the way to go. It has caused me a lot of problems before, and it's going to cause me even bigger problems later in life. I know it now that it's going to cause problems later on, but I'm not sure if I can really do anything about it. I'm just that weak-minded, I guess. I mean, I can't really... I don't really know how to determine myself to actually be more um, uh, responsible. I guess I know I know how to do it, but I lack the will and the power of will to actually will myself to do it. And that was a lot of wills. So get the hell rid of will. He's ir annoying and irritating and keeps repeating himself. Uh, no, but back to the point. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if, if I have it in me to actually take my life more serious. And then gaming is an escape for me. So, as I said, gaming addiction is a serious condition. And it may not be able to calculate it by classical terms. But I'm telling you it may become a problem and games make it even easier to to lose yourself in lose yourself even easier i mean you can always get drugs and lose yourself in those or you can always get alcohol and lose yourself in that but that actually has a age limit in them but games don't don't necessarily have an age limit and they can make it just as easy to lose yourself so it's a very uh serious uh, condition I guess that's all I wanted to say I ended kind of a down note here but that's how it is I um, I hope to see you next time Snackis